Hi, I'm Zor. Welcome to Inizor Education. Um, this is uh, yet another lecture which is dedicated to quadratic functions. In, in this particular case, it's a kind of a practical exercise. I have a set of uh, six different qu qu quadratic functions which I would like to basically analyze. Um, analysis of a function is very easily um, accomplished by basically building its graph. So I would probably concentrate mostly on how to build the graph of these quadratic functions um, and uh, in particular um, where is the vertex of the parabola? We know it's parabola, right? So where is the vertex of the parabola? Uh, what's the direction of its two branches, two horns, and, uh, as uh, I called them once, upwards or downwards, and what's the and what's the steepness of this particular uh, of these particular branches? This is basically how you know you investigate the behavior of the function. Now, all of these uh, functions are represented in their uh, general format. Now, general format is px squared plus qx plus r, where p, q, and r are real numbers, coefficients. Now, I cannot really, just looking at this particular form of the function, tell how the, how, how the graph actually looks like. But I can if the function is represented in this format. Now, this is a full square format of the function. Now, how does this parabola look? But that's very easy. You start from the regular parabola, which is something like this, y is equal to x squared. You shift it to the left by b. If b is positive, it's to the left. Um, uh, if b is uh, negative, it would be to the right by the absolute value of b. But in any case, you, you shift it to the left by, 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 by b, so it will be something like this. If this is, this point is minus b. And then you multiply this uh, function by a, and that means if a is positive, the branches remain pointing upwards. If A is negative, it will be changed to pointing downwards. If A is greater than 1, the steepness would be greater. Let's say something like this. If A is less than 1, an absolute value, the steepness would be less. Something like this. And then finally you shift it up by C. That would be your new vertex. So I know how to uh, to build the graph of this function, whatever coefficients a, b, and c are. So my most important problem is to convert the function from this representation to this representation. Now, uh, last lecture, which was about this generic format of the function, I actually converted this into this in general uh, in, in general uh, variables a, b, and c, and p, q, and r. Now, I actually wrote a couple of formulas here uh, which basically relate this p, q, and r to the new coefficients a, b, and c. From this, we can always derive a, b, and c. Obviously, p is not equal to zero. Now, and the formulas are I will just write it down. A is equal to P. B is equal to Q divided by 2P. And C is equal to R minus Q squared divided by 4P. Now, these are formulas, and I can actually use these formulas to convert this into this in any case which I have. Now, before doing this, I would like to say that I don't want to do it. And I don't really want you, I don't want to encourage you to do it this way. Why? 
because you have to remember these formulas. I myself don't remember it, that's why I put it here as, as a kind of a reference point. Um, and I don't think it's the right approach. I mean, we are here not to achieve certain, you know, transformation, but to get smart about how to do this. So these logical and analytical skills would help us to, uh, to do something else. The development of these analytical skills is the most important part, which we would like actually to accomplish here. So that's why I don't want to use these formulas. And I will do it differently. So to demonstrate how you can do it without knowing these formulas. However, however, I will do the first one just, you know, just for fun. I will do using these formulas and we will see whether it will give me the same result if I will do it more analytically, more logically, if you wish. So, in the, in the first case, I have the function y is equal to x squared plus x plus 1. Now, what does it mean? It means p is equal to 1, right? q is equal to 1, and r is equal to 1. Now, using these formulas, I will have a is equal to 1, b is equal to q divided by 2p, 1 divided by 2, so it's 1 half, and c would be equal to r, which is 1, minus 1 fourth, which is 3 quarters. So I can say that in this particular case, I can rewrite this function as y is equal to 1 times x plus b, which is 1 half, square, plus c, plus 3 quarters. Okay, now, let's check it out. I don't really need this anymore. I don't need this formula because I don't want to use it anymore. I will do something else. And let's check this out. Well, x plus 1 half square, so it's x square plus 2 times x times 1 half. 2 times 1 half is 1 times x, so it's x plus 1 half square is 1 quarter and plus 3 quarters. And this is 1. So it's exactly the same with this. So this is actually a correct representation of our um, generic uh, function uh, in, in the generic format, and this is the correct representation in the full square format. Now, I know how to build the graph of this function. This is the regular parabola shifted to the left by one half and up by three quarters. So it would be something like this. This is minus one half and this is 3 quarters. This would be the vertex of my parabola. And it will have the same direction and steepness of the branches as the regular y is equal to, to, to x squared parabola. So that's my analysis. But I was using these formulas, which I don't want to remember, and I don't want actually you to remember. So how can I? come up with the same uh, result like this one using, you know, some more uh, human-like, natural, uh, analytical abilities um, which, 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 which everybody hopefully has. Well, here is the point. What's most important right now is to find this particular coefficient. Why? Because this we can always adjust, whatever will be left. Now, let's just think about it. Now, x squared is the result of, obviously, squaring of the x. And then we have a, a double uh, product. So if you have x plus b squared, this is x squared plus 2bx plus b squared, 
right? Everybody knows this formula. And if you know, you can always multiply it yourself. So how can I find B such that 2BX would be equal to whatever my uh, uh, my element with X to the first degree is? Well, obviously, if this coefficient is 1 in this particular case, then this B should be half of it, because we double it, right? So if I have this, it means B must be equal to 1 half. So after doubling, I will have exactly X. So this is the first and most important part. So I know that it should be X plus 1 half squared. Now let's just think about it. X plus 1 half squared will give me X squared. It will give me 2 times X times 1 half, which is X. And it will always, uh, it, it will give me something else, which is 1 quarter. This is a free member, one quarter, but I need one. So I have to compensate. I have to add another three quarters to get to the one. So this is the logic. And I will repeat this logic another five times so you will kind of familiarize yourself better. Now, the only thing is a, a, a small nuance, which does not really exist in this case. The coefficient uh, in, in this case is, is one with uh, x squared, right? Now, what if it's not one? Well, obviously, we have to really factor it out. Because again, that is something which is very easy to accomplish. And then the rest will be, the, um, the rest will have a coefficient of, uh, of 1 with, with x squared. And I will use this approach. So let me demonstrate it for the second example. Now I'm not using the formula. I'm just using the second example straight, and I'll just demonstrate the logic. So you have y is equal to 2x squared plus x plus 1. So the first, uh, the, the first step in converging this into full square mode is to factor out the coefficient uh, at uh, x squared. So it's equal to 2 times x squared plus 1 half x plus 1 half, right? So now I have x squared here. Now what I'm thinking is I have to find out such a b that x plus b squared would have the first members like this. Now, what is it? Obviously, b should be equal to 1 quarter, because then 2xb would be equal to 2x and 1 quarter. So it would be 2 and 1 quarter, so it's 1 half. That's exactly what I mean. So next is, I should say, this is supposed to be equal to x plus 1 quarter squared. Now, that would satisfy x squared, and it would satisfy 1 half x. Now, 1 quarter squared would be 1 sixteenth, but I need 1 half. So I have to add whatever. I need to add to 1 sixteenth to get 1 half. 1 half is 8 sixteenths. I have 1 sixteenth, so I have to add 7 sixteenths. Right? Basically, that's almost it. In, uh, the only thing which, which remains, actually, uh, to do is multiply separately two by these two things using uh, the distributive law, so it's 2 times x plus 1 quarter squared plus 2 times 7 16 is 7 8. So this is my answer. This is my full square for this particular thing. Just in case, let me check if I'm right. OK, equals to 2 times x squared plus 2 times x times 1 uh, quarter, so it's 1 half x plus 1 quarter uh, square, which is 1 sixteenth, plus 7 eighths. OK, multiply. 2 times x squared, it's 2x squared, plus 2 times 1 half x is x. 2 times 1 sixteenth is 1 eighth, plus 7 eighths. 1 eighth and 7 eighths is 1. So everything is fine. So this is just checking. 
But most, most important is that I have transformed or converted my original uh, general representation of quadratic function into full square. And now I can say very um, definitively how this particular graph looks like. So you have to shift my um, x square, y is equal x square, um, to minus four, so minus one fourth, so it's this way. So then the parabola should be multiplied by two, which means it should be two times steeper, so it's something like this, and then shift it upwards by seven eighths. So this would be the new vertex, and that's how it goes. So this is my graph, this is how parabola goes. It's twice as steep as um, the regular y is equal to x squared, uh, and its vertex has the x coordinate minus one fourth and y coordinate uh, seven eighths. That's the end of this particular analysis. So full square is the purpose of all these transformations, and I was trying to do it not using any kind of a formula, but just some kind of a logical uh, transformations which which you know led me to this particular uh, case. Now next one, three x square plus two x plus five. Again, the first step. Factor out the coefficient at x squared. So it's three times x squared plus two third x plus five third. Second, how can I get this? Well, it's x plus plus how much to get two third x? Well. This is supposed to be double x times this b, whatever the b is supposed to be, and obviously b is supposed to be one third, right? Because if I will do this, it, it will be x squared plus two times x times one third, which is two third x. Now, I have one ninth square. I need five third. One ninth, and this is 15 nines. So I need 14 nines to add. That's it. 1 ninth plus 14 nines would be 15 nines. Factor 3, 5, 7. Yes, seems to be okay. Now, or I can rewrite it as 3 times x plus 1 third squared plus 3 times 14 nines is 14 third. So this is my um, full square. And now I can say that this is the regular parabola y is equal to x squared. Uh, then it should be shifted to the left by 1 third. Uh, made three times steeper, and then shifted up by 14 third. Just in case, let me check that I'm right. So it's three times x squared plus two times x times one third, so it's two third x plus one ninth plus 14 third. So it's three uh, x squared plus 3 times 2 thirds is 2x. 3 times 1 9 ninths is 1 third plus 14 third. So it's 15 third, which is 5. Yeah, I'm right. So checking is fine. All right, so that's it for this particular example. So let me just continue doing exactly the same thing. After a few more, we will all be very comfortable with this particular transformation. y is equal to minus 4x squared 
plus x minus 1. OK, equals minus 4 outside, factor out. What's left? x squared. This is minus 4. This is plus. So it would be minus 1 fourth x and plus 1 fourth. Right? Minus 4 times minus 1 fourth would be 1. Minus 4 times plus 1 fourth would be minus 1. Equals minus 4. Now, what is it? It's x plus b squared, right? Now, x squared. Now, we will have 2xb, and we will have to have minus 1 fourth. So what is b? Well, b should be equal to... minus 1 eighth, right? 2 times x times minus 1 eighth would be minus 1 fourth. Fine. Now, the, the free member would be 1 64th, and we need 1 fourth. So 1 fourth is 16 64th, so I need another 15. 64s to get to, am I right? So x squared minus 1 quarter x plus 1 64th plus another 15 64th, so it's 16 64th, which is 1 fourth. Seems to be okay. Now, what is this particular graph? All right. First, it's shifted by well, minus eight, one eighth to the left, which is actually plus one eighth, right? So this is one eighth. That's my vertex. Now, then, uh, by the way, it probably would be easier if I will open these parentheses. So it would be minus four x minus one eight square plus actual minus minus four and fifteen sixty fours is. Uh, 15 sixteenths, minus 15 sixteenths. Okay, that, that's the right thing. Well, just in case, let me check. It's minus 4x squared, okay. Then um, 2 times x times minus a, 1 8 is minus 1 quarter x times minus 4 is x. And this is 1 64th times minus 4 is uh, 4 64th, which is uh, minus 1 16th, and 15 16th, so it's minus 1. Yeah, it seems to be fine. Now, this graph is, again, as I was saying, it's shifted by 1 8th to the right in this case, because this is negative. Uh, then the parabola should be um, directed uh, with their with with its branches with, with its horns downwards because this is a minus sign, and it should be four times steeper than the regular parabola. So it's something like this, very very steep goes down, and then it should be minus fifteen sixteen. So it should be brought down. This is the parabola which I'm looking at. So the horns are looking down because this coefficient is negative, and this is the original coefficient. And it's very, um, very steeply goes down because the coefficient is 4 here. And then 1 8 and minus 15 16 is basically where the vertex is located. All right? OK, so that's, that's as much as we need for this particular case. First step is factor out minus 3. 
now we have x squared minus 2x uh, minus 4 third equals minus 3x squared plus 6x and plus 4 third. Okay, seems to be fine. All right, now, how to convert this into full square? Minus 3. So it's x. What should it be to get minus 2? Well, obviously minus 1 square. Right? It will be x squared minus 2x plus 1. Now, we have plus 1 here, but we do need minus 4 third, which means we have to subtract um, 7 thirds. Right? So it should be 1, which is 3 thirds minus 7 thirds would be minus 4 thirds. That's what it is. Okay. Now, uh, just to make it a little easier, it would be this. Plus 7. Right? Let me check. Minus 3x squared. This is minus 2x, so it's plus 6x. Now this is plus 1 times minus 3, it's minus 3, plus 7 is 4. Correct. Now, how to, uh, to draw this particular graph? Well, again, obviously it's 1 to the right, then uh, direct the parabola downwards, 3 times steeper, and then raise it up by 7. So it would be something like this. Uh, this is 7, this is 1, and parabola is downwards, 3 times steeper than original y is equal to x squared. Okay, done. Okay, and I have the last one. Y is equal to minus 2x squared minus 2x minus 3. Okay, I'm sure you are very proficient by now with the technique. Uh, factor out minus 2. We have x squared plus x plus 3 second, right? Equals minus 2 x plus x squared plus x would be x plus 1 half square, right? It will give me x squared plus 2 times x times 1 half, which is x. And it will give me 1 fourth. Now, this is 1 fourth, but I need 3 quarters, uh, I mean 3 seconds. So I have to add, uh, this is 6 fourths. I have 1 fourth, so I have to add 5 fourths. Correct? x squared plus 2x and 1, one half, so it's x, plus 1 quarter and 5 quarter, it's 6 quarters, which is 3 seconds. That's fine. Or minus 2x plus 1 half square. Uh, minus 2 times 5 quarters would be minus 5 seconds. Right? Which means my parabola would be uh, with the vertex minus 1 half and minus 5 seconds. So it would be something like this, minus one half and minus five seconds. That's the vertex. The horns will be downwards because this is the minus sign, and the steepness would be twice as big as the steepness of the regular parabola. Well, that's the end of it. Basically, my purpose was to uh, basically encourage you not to remember the formula 
which you will probably forget anyway, uh, but to try to logically approach. What we need is a full square. How can I accomplish this transformation to a full square? Well, first of all, this definitely prevents me from doing it you know, in a simple way. So let's just factor it out. That's the first step. Now I have uh, the function which has 1 uh, at, at the x, which means we should convert it into x plus something squared. And all we need to do is just to find this something in such a way that it will give me the coefficient with x to the first degree. In this case, for instance, it's 1 half. And then I see what my free member is supposed to be, what I have here, so how much I have to add or subtract to get to this. So this is the logical um, kind of a set of uh, conclusions which you can make, set of steps which you can, which you can make to get the result without a, a knowing any formula. And, uh, and that's personally, I, I prefer this way because it will develop your uh, ability to find the way in a new situation which you are not familiar with. You don't, no, nobody gives you the formula to, to solve some real life problems you have to basically come up with a way to solve it just on your own without the help of anybody. So this is just a simple example how you can use your own logic to accomplish this without knowing any additional formulas or anything like that. Uh, that's it for now. I do suggest you to do some exercises yourself. You can do exactly the same exercises which I did. Um, uh, the notes for this particular lecture are on unisor.com and uh, well, good luck. Thank you.